Hi everyone, and welcome back to Dora Kitty. Now, if you want to fly with a glider in flight gear, you have about two options for putting your glider up into the air. You can place a winch in front of you and give you some speed and altitude using that. Or you can hook to an aircraft or a multiplayer if you have another player who's willing to cooperate and have them tow you up to the air. There is an AI scenario out there if you want to have a computer tow you up to the air for you. However, that only works at one airport and at one runway, so it's quite limited. However, quite a few months ago, oh my goodness, I'm late with everything, aren't I? You know. PlayEROM has built a new add-on called Air Troll Everywhere, which allows you to spawn an AI plane, so a computer-controlled plane, in front of you at any airport at any runway, and it will fly basically a traffic pattern and bring you up into the air for you. Which means that you can now get the Air Troll experience anywhere and you want and at any time you want. Now, this is another one of those add-ons where you really want to read the installation instructions. First of all, it does require the nightly because it uses some of the new features in there in order to avoid having to fiddle around with the installation directory to make this add-on even work in the first place. Second of all, there is some extra actions that you need to do before to use this add-on. You need to create uh, this directory and also add this entire line to the additional settings box. Again, uh, read the installation instructions when you download the add-on. This might change in the future. And also, you really ought to know how to read and follow instructions on your own if you were to use them lightly. Because it is definitely not built for uh, wide distribution by and used by all users. Right, so with that in mind, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to Hilo! <laughs> We're jumping through this new airport today to do some random gliding here in the fairly open fields. And today, we are going to be using the Air Troll Everywhere add-on, of course, to bring us places. Now, for this one, we can actually customize the route considerably if, uh, as for what we want to do. Let's just go, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a fairly short route just to make things easier. I'm going to top, also top this out at 2000 HEL or so. And let's just say that we're going to do this with a C-47, which is a variant of the venerable DC-3. Yes, that thing tows gliders, and that thing is available in this add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And let's go ahead and spawn it in. Call for a C-47. Yes, you can also configure the tow rope using this. And... You can add a thermal in front if you want to glide for a little bit longer, but although I do have other plans today. Let's hook into this aircraft. Also, if you haven't heard that uh, happen so far, this aircraft actually does have sound. And in fact, that was part of the many, many difficulties uh, Play Rom had in coding this add-on, is getting the sound, whole sound thing to work properly. I'm not very good at Aeroto, so uh, you need to excuse me if I do some dumb stuff. Like not being able to formation fly quite literally at all. And drifting all around the place because of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Flying over the roads. This is <laughs> You can tell I don't do this stuff in real life, because this is not... You will definitely get emergency ejected if you do this in real life, I guess. Although this rope is set at a higher tension than would probably be realistic. Just to make things easier. Although the C-37 uh, does not put up its gear. So the realism of this entire thing is kind of debated in the first place. I'm going to try to use the speed brakes to stay well behind him when able. Just try to keep the distance. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use the speed brakes in a real glider. Probably not. But it just helps the stability in this case. Alright, I think we are at altitude, guys. With the speed brakes mostly out, <laughs> that's gonna be fun on the tow rope. Alright, let's try to release it a little bit. 
And now I'm going to do something pretty fun. I'm going to deep hook. Uh, retract the speed brakes. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow this guy all the way down. Because uh, this plane will actually be landing, after ejecting, this plane will actually be landing back, back, the air, back at the airport. That's what it's programmed to do. And it has completed the one sequence here. So I'm going to go ahead and follow this guy down. Just for a slightly freer formation flying thing. I mean, y'all just love following me in multiplayer events, I need to learn how to follow you too. <laughs> Although catching up with a C-130 in a glider might prove a little bit difficult. Lit. Also, sorry about the uh, edge in the terrain there, that was me forgetting to uh, turn down the lot after the entire like New York saga. Wow, this guy ha dropped really fast. Where the runway? Where the runway? Alright, I'm going to start to drop for now. I think he's going to come in to land at that using some like magical technique. We're going to go in and do that too. Drifting down in... And I think where, it, where he is, uh, about to land there. So we're also going to land with the speed brakes mostly up because, let's be honest, this glide slope is com very unrealistic, prob probably unrealistic for a C-130. Well, let's get going. Alright, we're going to align with the runway. Sky has now turned to align with the runway mostly. Drifting a little bit higher. But we're good because we will be independent from him. What are you doing up there, babe? And taxiing out of the way. Runway courtesy. Nice job. Let's go ahead and flare. And kill the lifts. We have way more energy than we're supposed to have as a glider here. There we go. <laughs> nice and slow. Right, so that is, air is most of Aerotol everywhere. So we are going to be doing some ground services thing, just meet up with a C-130, and we will call it off in a bit. And it looks like the C-130 decided to just t randomly take off it on us for another round. <laughs> Thank you for your service! We would like to meet you again next time! <laughs> and that will be uh, the end of today's episode of Dirty Kitty! Uh, Real life has started getting quite a bit busier, so I will be trying to provide a video every two one, every two weeks or so. Although that might not be guaranteed sometimes, <laughs> such as this time where I am an entire week late. Sorry about that. So I'm going to see you next time, most likely in a live stream. Actually, I'm starting to miss those. So, safe flights. <laughs>